What's good with y'all? All right, welcome to the whatever week it is out vlog. I'm pretty sure I got it messed up. I think I'm 12 weeks out, but I don't think that's reflecting in these videos, so I might be like a week off, but hey, I'll get the point. I'm prepping for a show, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, Sometimes, uh, I guess the prep brain kicked in a little early, maybe not, maybe I'm just really bad at counting, that's probably it, I'm not the best at math, but good morning, so it's Tuesday, uh, yesterday was officially what I think is 12 weeks out, and I was like, hey, hey, I gotta pick up the camera today, cause I had planned to yesterday, there's a lot I wanna talk about, keep you guys in the loop on, the last few days have been crazy, I've been spending like, a lot of time in front of my damn computer maybe like eight nine hours on average a day but uh yeah it's a busy time it's a busy time i got a lot of shit going on i got a lot of shit that i'm trying to create and get done right now but um today's topic to start off the vlog we got a juicy one one i'm sure a lot of you guys will be interested in hearing so from the jump i've been open honest transparent about gear um you know the fact that i am utilizing anabolics um, at this point in my bodybuilding career so I've, i don't think i've ever really broken down you know what i'm running how much i'm running so uh 21 years old right now this is my second cycle so after the summer shredding class it, it was very apparent time to gain some size if i want to be competitive i want to be competitive also at the forefront of my mind was let's do it as safely and uh minimalistically minimally i don't know one of the two uh as possible so what i ran for my first cycle which was 12 weeks was 300 milligrams of test e that is it. We use Arimidex as an aromatase inhibitor to, you know, just kind of control, balance estrogen, um, make sure that didn't accumulate too much in my body to where I was receiving the negative side effects, which I think it did a little bit towards the end, which was right around when I came off, which was surprisingly, uh, actually, I felt a little bit better during that period, just in terms of, um, you know, like m mentally how wound up i kind of feel on tests at some points but uh 300 milligrams of test e 12 weeks put on a substantial amount of size um I, it was around i think 21 pounds clearly some of that was fat and water but um i did gain a significant amount of muscle contractile tissue fast forwarding to prep now we took like a what was probably like a two and a half three month um time off of test to let my receptor sites, you know, just get more uh, sensitive again, you know, add tests back in and potentially different and additional compounds. So fast forward to prep now, which I have been on officially right over three weeks. I think it's 22 days right now. Um, we are still running test E, 300 milligrams. Do not need, do not feel the need to increase dosages, at least right now. Um, but we are looking to throw Anovar in. So um, from my understanding, Anovar is gonna allow me to increase my nutrient uptake. So utilize protein more, which is always a good thing, especially when you can, you're can. you looking to grow into a show. And that's something that I think my body is trying to do right now. Like. We're three weeks in, I have most definitely leaned out. A, hey, my weight's increased, if anything. I'm sitting at 207. Um, not necessarily increased, but staying the same. I started prep around 209, 210, so like not a lot's changed, but I am, you know, the, the difference in what my body looks like is more than the difference of the pounds I've lost on the scale. So I'm in a good spot. I will have to say I briefly used Anovar in my off season, very short amount of time. I don't even think it was two weeks. At the time, I don't think it was the right thing to throw in. I think the test was working, um, you know, substantially. So we kind of just took that out. Didn't really, I don't think, see any, uh, you know, significant 
gain from it. But it is something we're going to throw in um, at some point throughout this prep. And then that brings me to the next compound that I don't have any experience with whatsoever that we are looking to throw in in the near future during this prep, which is clen, clenbuterol. Um, so that in its basic, most simple explanation is a fat burner is gonna allow me to lean out quicker. Um, I am going to continue to do research on it just to really understand its effects and how it works um, pharmaceutically, but you know, I'm starting prep at a much higher body fat percentage this year. Uh, I was really lean last year, probably like 10, 11%. I would say I'm more, I started prep probably around the 17%, 16 to 18% body fat range this year. So uh, I think Clint is going to come in handy. And I mean, I, I, I tell people this, like I'm not the biggest dude on stage, but I will bring shape and I will bring shreds. Like my conditioning, I refuse for that not to be on fucking point. And when we come to a consensus of what I'm gonna actually run that dose at, I will be sure to update you guys, but we're keeping it very. All right, what's good guys? So unfortunately that video died um, or my SD card got full in that last clip. Uh, but I do remember what I was talking about, the track I was going down. So that is the premise of what, you know, I've been running this far on my maybe seven, eight month uh, journey or experience with PED so far. I've always, always been somebody who wanted to be conscious of what I'm putting in my body. Um, what it's gonna do to me, the side effects, the expected effects, or the effects that I want to get from it. So, before I do anything drastic, I always do a lot of research, and then you know I'm still continuing to do research and learn because this is honestly my industry. This um, PEDs are a huge part of my career, my industry, what I will be doing like kind of basing my life's work around that sounds kind of yeah but it's true um and guys like i will you guys can always count on me to keep it a stack of buck a fat buck which are like if i had to choose between being natural and being enhanced i'm choosing being enhanced like it's such a game changer going into a show so i mean just a couple of things right off is like gym performance is through the roof and muscle fullness is pretty much always there there's definitely more of an internal like reward system or desire just to be successful and chase um you know work towards the things i want to work towards i've always had that in me like ambition i, I got it Check me out. I got it. I got it tatted on the forearm. Let me, let me show y'all in case y'all haven't seen a close up. Ambition is deadly. If it's tatted in ink, that's what I believe. Kevin said that. But I would definitely say test is kind of, you know, amplified that. I heard it explained like that a lot before hopping on, and I can definitely attest that that is true. Um, but. Guys, this, there's, I think that going into this show, you know, being assisted now is gonna do a lot for me. Just like, granted, I've never ran PEDs into a show, so, you know, I'm sure different aspects and things might come up, but I mean, this is, this is a part of the game, a part of the sport, but it is almost 10 o'clock. I'm about to hop on to this first group posing session um, with Alex and a bunch of other team reform athletes. So we're gonna go over that. And then guys, yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I got a day ahead of me. Do I do I wanna do anything besides lay in bed? Hell no. Nah. But uh yeah, I got a day ahead of me, I got work to do, it's what I asked for, so I should minimize the complaining but um i'm gonna get some work done i'm gonna tap back in with you guys a little bit later today yeah yeah all right i'll see y'all in a little bit
see, so I go to take my photos for the morning. And then this happens. Come on, bro. You can't be still in a chair like that. And then how I'm going to pick him up and take him off when he's looking like that. This is Mallard for anybody who doesn't know. Yeah, but you're going to have to get up out of here. No cap. Nope. See, man, don't wild out in front of the camera. You don't be biting. Don't play like that. So, y'all just seen me do, what, the fourth check-in of prep? And normally I would sit down, get right on the computer, sit there for like five hours. Uh, but this one is a little bit different. I'm actually going to take it on over to the gym, knock out this leg day that I think like subconsciously I've been dreading like I wouldn't admit that to myself like at least this early on um, but yeah I think subconsciously maybe I've been dreading it I don't know maybe just because it's not like an upper body pump day and I'm so focused on my show right now and seeing the you know changes in my physique upper body wise because you know my legs are not judged in men's physique I don't know maybe something like that Maybe I'm just thinking too hard again, but I'm going to get meal one, part of meal one knocked out. So we're gonna do 60 grams of oats, 18 grams of almond butter, and then a whole lot of cinnamon. A little, a little uh, zero calorie syrup as well. So like I said, it's, I've been up since six, it's now seven. It's actually a later start for me, but I'm needing to prioritize sleep so like there's a balance of work your ass off and get sleep so you can continue working your ass off and like I like to try to pretend that that's not a thing that that's not balanced like there's no balance needed there but there really is like I notice when I'm going when I go like four days getting up Basically, when I go four days on like four or five hours of sleep, like I'm hurting. And that's nowhere near optimal for trying to achieve the physique I am trying to achieve this year. So, you know, balance as much as it can be implemented and, you know, um, around in my life has to be there because balance in the important things allows me to create in balance or prioritize the very important things, you know, like business-wise, work-wise. So let's get into these oats. I'm gonna sit down, enjoy them, and uh, I'll see you guys at the gym where I'm gonna get these motherfuckers right. Fuck is you talking about? <laughs> Okay, it is way too cold. One, for it to be March, basically April, it's the last day of March. And two, for me to be outside with this shit on. And also like, I never do this, but I let my, I'm like overdue for an oil change. And like, I, I promised myself I would never do that. So I should probably get that taken care of, but hey, gas, then gym, then Stairmaster, Oh my god, this is horrible, this is, oh, nope, nope, let's see, oh shit, oh my god, that got to $32 real quick, uh-uh, uh-uh, hey, gas too damn expensive to be doing all that, it's literally four oh nine right now, hey, alright, so, it's kind of a, Okay, even though it's so cold, it's kind of a cool morning. It's like really, really gloomy. It's almost eight o'clock and like, it's just like one of those cozy mornings. I'm worrying that I should be in bed asleep right now. There's some shit on the camera, hold up. Damn, that's why it was like that. There was a hair on it. But I should be in bed right now with how it looks and feels outside. But it's kind of like a, leg days I feel like are meant to be those cozy days. You feel me? Like. When you go in the gym early in the morning, it's just kind of gray out and cold. Like it feels like the middle of winter right now, but 
Instead of being cozy, I'm about to go put myself through it for about an hour. <sighs> then I'll probably relax a little bit after that. So since I'm solo this morning, I can actually use these. But I'm hoping this camera doesn't die. So it's, it was just on two little bars for the battery and it will go from two bars. I will see it go from three to two. And then 15 seconds later, it will just die. Like that is probably the only thing that pisses me off about this camera, but it makes me shitty. So warming up right now, Smith Machine. I like to throw in a variety of sets and reps in my training routine in general, but especially on leg day. So we're going four sets of five with Smith Machine Squat, uh, being sure to get low. You're getting very low on these. That That is a uh, benefit of Smith Machine. You really can get a lot lower with not having to, having to focus so much on stabilization opposed to just regular barbell squat. So this is by no means the first set. We're probably gonna start the first set off with 315, work up from there. how my knees buckle in. It's been like that my entire training career, maybe like since I started lifting, 2014. I should probably invest into some knee sleeves. Um, so that's 405, third set, about to hit a top set. Um, let's see, maybe we'll go 415, 425. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pissed off right now. Like, Kind of pissed right now, no cap. Uh, yeah, it's gonna keep pushing through this shit though. So what I didn't show y'all was the last failure set I did on Smith Machine squats. Then I hopped right back over here to this leg press. Now I usually use the leg press over there where you gotta manually load the weights up. I wish this shit would focus. Might be some shit on the lens again. I hate when there's shit on the lens. <laughs> All right, it's a little bit better, but um, I really, really did not feel like fucking with 100 pound plates today. Like, it's just completely ridiculous to load up 45 after 45. So, this is, I think, the first time I've used this actual, like, um, machine, machine leg press. But, and I, I will say, I don't like it as much, but I got some burner sets and for real. So, now we're gonna hop over to, literally, right next door <laughs> to the. I just be making like, I, sometimes I like make a joke, I say some shit and I laugh and I'm just like, wow, I'm a dad and I don't even got kids yet, that's crazy. Um, yeah, hamstring curl, hamstring curl, let's get it, six sets.
I moved over to hamstring curl. I don't know why, but I keep forgetting to one, tell you guys, and two, show you guys the failure sets on these last two movements. So squat and leg press, I both did failure sets. My shit is feeling nice and juicy. So about to hit the top set on this. We got six sets. Right, this will be the sixth set. Um, I think I'm really, really starting to realize that I have a very horrible mind-muscle connection um, and just like contraction of my hamstrings. So, I mean, I'm over here starting with 50 pounds on this. Uh, really just focusing on dorsiflexing my shit. So keeping my, let's see if I can get it up there. Uh, keeping my toe, trying to basically touch my toe to my shin. Obviously that's impossible, but that's kind of the um, feeling I'm trying to achieve when doing these, just to keep tension in my hamstring the whole time, not allow the weight to just become slack. And um, what's the word I want to use? Um, take the tension off of my hamstring. 